very, very good morning to you. It's Sunday the 11th of February. It's been a lovely morning here, but we're moving on today. We are hopefully going on to New Waters for Nikki and myself, uh, going on the Ashby Canal. I have done the Ashby a couple of years ago, but me and Nikki have never done it. So we're really excited. I'm very excited uh, to go to the Ashby. But we've got a little bit to go before then, about an hour and 40 minutes to Marsden Junction, where we do a left, a very sharp, tight left-hand turn onto uh, the Ashby Canal. Uh, last night, as promised, Nikki made a beautiful steak pie. Yum, yum. That was gorgeous. We had some lovely vegetables with it. It was a very nice meal. Very nice. I wonder what she's conjuring up for tonight. Right, let's get going. It's cold, darling. It is a bit. A bit? At least it's dry. Dry for a bit. Yes, we're on our way. We're going nice and steady just to wake Chugs up a little bit and to wake us up. It is quite breezy and it's very cold. That wind is cold. Uh, you may be able to hear us even though it's windy. Can you hear Nikki? I hope so. Should be able to Possibly. hear us both. Uh, and it's a big thank you. Very, very big thank you. Uh, to Nikki's parents, Val and Pete. Um, they do watch the vlogs. It's the way that they can see Nikki and the grandchildren. They do watch the vlogs avidly and they have heard the wind noise and they have treated us to a very special present. We have got some new microphones. They're posh microphones. Oh, no, now we're going to work out how to use them. We haven't got a clue because I'm not technical. If you'd have seen what we were doing this morning, you wouldn't have believed it. We are struggling a little bit just to get the hang of them. But we will get the hang of them, I promise you. And we're hoping that this sounds a lot better. Uh, with their DJI 2, DJI 2 mics. Yes. So we've got to figure out how to use them properly now. We've got to know how to use them. But we will, and I'm hoping the sound quality is a lot better for you. So thank you very much, Val and Peter. Well, I'm so glad that we moored where we did. As you go on here, the towpath gets wetter and wetter and wetter. We did walk around a little bit, Nikki and myself, yesterday. Yeah, we made the right choice. Well, this is where we wanted to moor, and to be honest, the towpath doesn't look too bad. The kids had water fights and everything a couple of years ago here. They had great fun. And just up ahead here, you can see a narrowing. Um, hopefully I can see it too and I don't hit it. We're gonna go through this narrowing and this was a former bridge. And that was a former bridge for a quarry that used to be up there for the trams to come down and come over. Sadly, long gone. What on earth is all that rubbish from? Bottles galore. That must be Party Central. The local layabouts up there, I think. Now, very shortly, we're going to come to a very special little telegraph hole. And you know how much uh, Nikki and Noah like doing their geocaches. Well, apparently, there's a geocache there. So we're going to temporarily moor up and uh, see if, if they can find it. He's in the boat now, waiting. So here's the telegraph pole, let's moor up. There goes Noah and Nikki looking for their geocache. These telegraph poles span, went all the way along a lot of the canal network. Obviously carried telephone lines, etc. There he goes. Right, well, did they find it or not? Check out Noah on a narrow boat. There is a link in the description below. Check it out. And find out. Right, we're going. Whenever I see that telegraph pole, always reminds me of High Bridge on the Shropshire Union with the telegraph pole that's uh, halfway through the bridge. Yeah, check out Noah on the narrowboat. Find out if he found his little treasure.
chimneys. Lots of trees following the heavy rain that we've had and of course the heavy wind. We've seen several across the canal this morning. We're just coming up to quite a heavy looking bridge. It looks like it was perhaps a conveyor belt or a train bridge at one time. But Nikki and I about 18 months ago were coming under here and we were very surprised to see some large uh, wagons, trucks, going over the bridge. Uh, they were driving very carefully though. No trucks today though, but it is Sunday. Yeah, it was quite a shock to see some trucks going over that. Wasn't, I wouldn't like to drive a truck over there. <laughs> Any minute now, we're just coming into the outskirts of Nuneaton. Uh, we're going to carry on through Nuneaton. We are aware there's uh, some little chops en route, but we're fine. We don't need to stop today. We're just going to crack on. Yes, we're still very much experimenting with these mics and I do apologize if it doesn't sound quite right. Um, these mics are quite professional and uh, Nikki and I haven't really had a play with them yet and looked at all the settings. Not quite clever enough, are we? we're, not, we're pretty dense. Um, we're not technically minded at all. I know we do YouTube and people think we know everything about like vlogging stuff. I use my phone to do all the filming, editing, the lot. So, no, we're not technical at all, but I'm hoping that you're not hearing this horrible wind noise that we have been plagued with uh, for the last month or two. It has been extremely windy though, but I'm excited to have a play around with these mics. We will, won't we? We will, yeah, we'll get yeah. Nikki will tell me how to use them. That's the duck party area, darling. Look at them all. There they are. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's going to go with me, is he? <laughs> Apparently, this little doggy likes chasing the boats. There he is. Hello.
You better get back to your mum. Where's your mum? Oh! Believe it or not, it is the sign of a city or a large town, these lovely allotments. People's gardens in the city. Brilliant bit of initiative they are. It won't be long and we'll be coming out of Nuneaton and looking forward to Marston Junction and we can turn up the Ashby Canal. It's going to be exciting. Well, it's going to be exciting for us. Nikki is donning Lily's hat. Why? I don't know what it is. It's a Wendy house, isn't it? There's a huge warehouse in front of us, or factory of some sort. I remember last time we came through here, they were building this. It's a heck of a blot on the landscape, I have to say. Mm.
the old bridge and the new. Just in front of us is Marsden Junction, the Ashby Canal. And here we are on the Ashby Canal, and as you can see this first hundred foot is very, very narrow, because back in the day there used to be a stop lock there. Long gone now. Oh well, he's not hanging around, is he? Wow! Hi. Just before that boat went past us, there was another GRP, and he informed us that there was a boat behind him and he had no reverse. He may not have reverse, but trust me, he's got plenty of forward. He's going like a racing snake. So now we're on the Ashby Canal, 22 miles approximately of lock-free boating for us. But it is famous for being very shallow and limited mooring. Luckily, Chugs is only a two-foot draft, so it's not too bad for us. But uh, the faster you go on here, the harder you're going to find cruising, because the back end of your boat will draw down and try to suck itself to the bottom of the canal. Always nice to go steady, plenty of time. And we have a mixture of skies, we've got a bit of blue and then we've got some rain clouds coming in from the port side. Not sure which way the weather's coming in. Doesn't look very nice over there.
that a pussy cat? Yeah. Oh, doing a runner. Where are you? Coming up the steps. He's gone. The Ashby Canal is a breathtaking canal, but it does have its, uh, its troubles. The shops are very few and far between. Uh, and eateries, places to eat. There are a few pubs that do food here, um, a little bit uh, off the canal, so that's okay. Uh, and of course, shopping isn't a problem. Nikki can get a delivery in the middle of nowhere. She's very good at that. So we're not worried about the shopping, uh, even though we are fairly well stocked at the moment anyway and I've just had a nice sausage sandwich. Uh, all's good. Really looking forward to sharing this canal. Even though we've got a bit of blue sky up there it is getting cold, isn't it, lovey? Yeah. It's freezing. Very cold now. We are looking for somewhere to moor up for the evening. Uh, mooring is of a premium here. As I've said, it's very difficult to moor. And of course, we have to think about the doggies, uh, getting the dogs on and off the boat. So uh, as soon as we find somewhere to moor, that's going to be it for the day. We've spotted Armco. There's the doggies. Where's our puppy dogs? Where's our puppy dogs? Oof. Well, at last, we're moored up. We're both reasonably cold. Mm, it is getting cold. It is getting damp. It's about half past three now in the afternoon. We're moored up just past bridge six, we think it was. Um, we don't really care where we are, do we, darling? <laughs> We're going to go in by the fire now. It's Sunday afternoon. Going to watch a movie. Sit down and just chill out, basically, uh, and relax. Uh, there's some houses opposite, but they're not, they're not near at all. They're not going to bother us. We may move tomorrow. It depends what the weather's doing. But if we move, we're going to take you with us. See you next time. Bye-bye. What was that? It was a bye-bye. There we go. A proper bye-bye. Take care, folks. Hey, Pixie. Dale has had enough. What's Dale doing? Dale? Sure. What are you doing, Dale? Where are you? Uh, 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 uh. No. Too late. Pixie. Come on, Pixie. Never mind, we in. Prim, get in the boat. Oi. Pixie. Come on.